Hey, what's going on guys? A couple days since I did that last video. Uh, I'm in the garage here again with old dusty. Uh, I'm gonna touch up paint. I guess this is nail polish. Uh, the front end a little bit here. I got this uh, meet going on Saturday, so I'm gonna try to make it to that. A um, couple things, I'm gonna look it over. I'm going to clean the oil. I'm gonna put some dye in it, see if I can't find this oil leak and try to fix it you know, now. Um, other than that, uh, I don't know if I'm going to drive it today just because I have to move the other car. Oh, I might show you guys that right now though. So uh, let's see what I feel like doing here. Now since I'm opening the garage door, I might as well show off the EK real quick. She's obviously dirty right now. I haven't washed it since. My buddy Brent did the ceramic job on it, but these are the wheels I was talking about. These tires, I got them used from somebody and they ride terribly. So they even ride bad on here. So I'm gonna be getting new tires and they rub like crazy. <laughs> I'm on cheap suspension, so. It's clean now. And put tent on it. Front. It's got Ellis Integra seats. Other than that, it's pretty much bone stock. Automatic Y7. That'll be changing here eventually. But all right, on to this mess. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down real quick and try to clean up all these little rock chips. And hopefully it won't be too noticeable. This is the same touch up paint that I use in the engine bay. So it shouldn't be terrible. All right, I just gave it a nice and quick wipe down with this waterless wash stuff. It's used on Sunday, it worked out really well too. So get a close up of all the fantastic damage on the hood now. But like I said, I don't really care too much about that. I'm just gonna touch up these spots here, the big chunks right here, just so it doesn't look so aesthetically terrible. It should be okay. So. <clears throat> okay, and just like that. Well, oh, and this one, you can see, you can see the difference. See, there's just, just one, which I'm gonna go back and do right now. For not having an actual paint matched paint, it's always done pretty good. I have this on my doors. There's chips all over my doors and stuff like that. Can't even tell. I'm happy with that. Let me just do this, that little spot right there and move on to the next thing here. Next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break clean the uh, oil areas. Um, I slid some cardboard underneath the car so it doesn't get all in my uh, garage floor. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spread this down, try and get it nice and clean. That way when I put the dye in, I can find out right away where the oil leak's coming from. So. This is also why I have the garage door open, so I don't, uh, you know, try to kill myself. Hopefully this stuff doesn't ruin my powder coat on my transmission. <laughs> I just thought about that. Anyway, skunk 2, yep, skunk 2 throttle bike sticker. All right, let's I'll wipe this down a little bit. Go from there. All right, so I wiped it down a little bit. You can still see it's a little dirty in there, but it's fine. This dye should be able to tell me exactly where the leak's coming from, but it's definitely cleaner than what it was. So, and I think those coolant spots came out too, so that's nice. 
Uh, I'll probably end up waxing the spot where I just sprayed brake clean again, just because it's not so slick anymore. Uh, this is the die kit I got. It says it works for one vehicle. So I guess I'm gonna pour this whole thing in there. I've never used this stuff before, so. <clears throat> uh, my UV light died, so I ended up just buying a kit. This was cheap. I got this from a local parts store. I think it was 30 bucks total for everything, so. Nice little diagnostic tools to have. Good for AC and stuff too, so. Uh, pop this stuff in and I'll go from there. All right, well, I just poured the dye in the engine. I forgot to hit record, but who cares? It's just dye, so. Um, it says to run the car and drive it, so I guess I'm gonna move this thing out of the way and we're gonna go for a spin in the CRX. <laughs> I'm under the rear of the vehicle. I wanted to check clearance or something because I'm looking at running my new exhaust setup like this because this car already has a cutout for what used to be an exhaust here, I think. There's no hangers or anything, but... So I'm looking at doing type of muffler, let's see, but you can see, oh, you can't see anything. Let so, uh, me flash on. Okay, so as you can see, this muffler has been repaired previous to my ownership, and it is entirely cracked all around those wells. Now, can I fix this? More than likely. But, uh, I don't know, it's old, it'd be nice to have something new on here. I've already got, you know, the hookup for getting a new exhaust made and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go that route, but yeah, she leaks for sure. Like bad. <laughs> so it is something to be addressed before the next trip. Oh. There she is. Yeah. Pick these up from BMP Auto Salvage when you pick them up. They're okay. Uh, I might be changing the seat, the CRX, so the seat might be coming in here, which would be a lot more comfortable. But, you yeah. know. Automatic. <laughs> I just tried the neutral. <laughs> I'm not used to driving this thing. <laughs> hey, it starts with like no gas. Cool. I have this Bosch seven inch you know, radio, you know, it comes out and everything. It's nice. It's got Apple CarPlay. You know, it's a little spoiled with that. I kind of wish I had something like that in the CRX to be honest with you. Uh, everything works, AC works, all that stuff. You know, it's, it's a good well-rounded car. I got it from a buddy for a pretty good deal for considering what the car is. You know, prices these days. Mm, I'm just gonna go uh, show you the other one that I have too. This is the original track car build right here. But a buddy of mine, I'm sure he'll make an appearance eventually here, is gonna buy this from me. Take it from me, I don't know. Uh, I don't work out the details, but he wants to do a single cam turbo on this thing. Right now it's a Y8 swap. He's trying to put a Y7 build motor together. It's rough. But we took this car and the CRX to the track in April, and other than blowing the head gasket in this thing, which it still starts, still drives, drove it all the way from the track, no problem. Uh, also, the EK will be getting some work done because it is currently ruining my driveway. So, I have to prioritize here. I'm going to do a couple things on this. I'm going to take it down. I'm doing, you know, I'll, I'll update you on like what, what the plans are you know, as I go along. But as of right now, after the meet, the plan is to mess with the cooling system. I'm going to be putting a uh, my original dual core full-size aluminum coil rad in this thing um, that will be requiring custom AC lines because the AC lines are in the way I have to make sure it clears the header I know I had to cut a tab off the radiator originally when I was trying to fit it 
So there will be some trial and error, and I'll take you through the headaches and all that. That'll be fun. Um, so the EK's steering rack is leaking, the main seal's leaking. Um, I fixed a couple oil leaks on it already, but obviously I didn't get them all. Uh, but to do the main seal, you gotta take the transmission down, so I'm gonna take the transmission down. I have everything to go manual on this car. I actually have a whole donor car in the backyard. <laughs> Not the black car. Not this car. There is another car back here. <laughs> so uh, that has pretty much everything I need to go full manual on it. So, uh, between that, I also want to V20 VTEC the motor, so I don't know if I want to do the whole swamp right then and there. I don't know. Um, not trying to take too much off at once just because the CRX is the main priority, but it would be nice to have the daily not you know, destroying my drive. I know it'll pressure wash out. I had a pressure wash before, so it's not like the end of the world, but it's not aesthetically pleasing. And I'm, I'm sure my neighbors don't appreciate it either. So. And it just starts a little rough, so be nice to her. Uh, it would help if I put the right key in the car. See, this one says race car. I don't know how I mix that up. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if she'll start. These plugs are, you saw them, they're all rusty and stuff, so.
seems to be happening so uh, yeah there's really nothing else I really want to do to this thing before this meet other than wash it which you know obviously I might not do that <laughs> I'm lazy so yeah uh, I don't know everything seems to be okay she moving great uh, riding around in the UK I got some gas in this thing for it. just take guys along nothing special I don't even have the foam mount in here, so <laughs> doing this by hand this is safe. I promise, totally safe. Mom, um, Dad, if you're watching this, I don't do this often. Oh, that's cool. So, let's see. It's it's hard for me to just. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna manual swap it and ruin the car. The car rides so nice. You know, I've got these little cheap Max heating rods, coilovers in it. Uh, it's pretty soft for what it is. I mean, obviously it's not OEM soft, but it's good daily. Um, the plan with the EK was to put a B20 VTEC in it with the LS transmission. Just, you know, I'm not trying to race the car or anything like that. It'd be a perfect daily driver, you know, nice long gears. I don't have to be shifting so fast all the time. I'm 
we've already got one lined up, kind of been paid for. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a nice little car. And it's actually the one color that I have always wanted. Back in the early 2000s, yeah, mid 2000s, I met one of my best friends and Matt, and I helped him put his car together and, you know, fell down the rabbit hole with that one, you know, full IDR swap, this, that, made it nice, and the car went down. But he had an ice steel sedan, and I absolutely loved it. It was a 99-2000, just like this, and I always wanted one, and I had always been on the hunt ever since. The deal came up, and I couldn't say no. There it is. And it was pretty much, his was an EX, if I remember correctly. We did everything on that too. You know, we manual swapped it, ITR swapped it. And he, uh, if he's still you know, planning on working on the car, I'm pretty sure he was case swapping it next, so. We'll see. But yeah, maybe I'll get him back out of his funk and we can start putting that car together again. That'd be cool. I've always loved that car. It was always clean. So, I'm gonna go put some gas in this thing and then go relax before I have to go to work. So, just a nice little comfortable car. I didn't so like to pull out in front of me. So, Alright, now that's it, I promise. <laughs> Alright, see ya.